Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Pushchair Experts Facebook Live. We've been really quiet this morning. We have got a very, very special guest in the studio. <laughs> Sorry, Ian, it's, it's not, not you. It's not Ian from Eye Candy. I feel like one celebrity get me out of here. Not Ian from Eye Candy. It is Laura's brand new baby. Those of you who join us for Facebook Live will know Laura. She's snuck in today to collect something, not to be on Facebook Live, but we've pinched her and the very, very beautiful Lucy, who is an excellent model, Laura. She's doing well, actually. I thought she was going to scream, so we're doing okay. She is doing very, very well. And she has come just to, special guest today to model a beautiful new pushchair from Eye Candy. Not only have we got this beautiful new pushchair from Eye Candy in the studio today, we've got... I was going to say the beautiful Ian, but <laughs> <laughs> the lovely Ian from Eye Candy, who's here to tell us all about a brand new addition to the Eye Candy Orange family. And we're giving one away, aren't we? Yeah, giving away the black edition on the, the jet black chassis as well. And yeah, thanks Lucy sharing what a lovely, comfortable... Yeah, she's doing well. She's, she's, she's very, very is. happy. It's always hard working with children or animals. Very hit and miss. Yeah, very, very hit and miss, but she's super, so we'll invite her back again. How old is Lucy now? She'll be three weeks tomorrow. <gasps> so anybody who's joined us, um, if you regularly join us, you will know Laura. She disappeared or has disappeared for a little while um, on maternity leave, but we have let her, let her come back today. Lynn has said good morning and welcome, Ian. And Emily said good morning and Lucia and Jessica. Lots of people joining us. Hannah, such a stunning, stunning pram. Abby, are oh, so cute. Obviously talking about us, not oh, the baby. Oh, what right. do you think? What do you think? Lauren says, beautiful. What a cutie from Victoria. Um, Amber says, I take the baby doesn't come with the pram. No. No? Well, between the hours of six and midnight, you can have her. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, 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 you don't mind that. Safie says, good morning. Hope everybody is well. Natalie says, three weeks, so tiny. We've got lots of congratulations coming in for you, Thank Laura. You. And the beautiful Lucy. She did bring her little boy in, but he was he's, a bit camera shy today, wasn't he? He's more having more fun playing with the girls in the shop. Uh, yeah, he's on the wheelie bugs. Yeah. He's, he's having an awesome time. But, I mean, dancers. you were so worried that Lucy was going to cry. I was. And she hasn't. No, but behaved. we're going to get... Um, Laura, I'm mm. going to let you escape with Lucy Thanks. while we look at the <laughs> second most beautiful thing in here, the pram, the eye candy pram. So thank you for coming in, Laura, and thank you for sharing Lucy. I think everybody will agree she's been an awesome model. So thank you for joining us, everybody, today, and goodbye, Lucy. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. <laughs> thank you. And we'll put the pram back together and... Um, yeah, I'll see you later, yeah, Laura. I'm sure I'll be back again at some point. We I've hope so. Lots of stock in there, have we? No, nope, no, nope, nope, you're them. fine, you're fine. <laughs> so, thank you very much for joining us, Ian. Um, Ian is from Eye Candy, and he's come today to tell us a little bit more about the Eye Candy Orange Black Edition. As you can see, it is absolutely stunning. Now. Not many people will have this, will they? It arrived in the UK about a week ago. Yes, First orders about, went out about a week ago. Yeah, about a week ago. So anybody who knows Eye Candy will perhaps know a little bit about the heritage. We've had Ian on our Facebook Live before. We've had lots of different Eye Candy products, but this is brand new. I saw it about two weeks ago. For the first yeah. time, it was about two, three about two weeks, weeks two, ago. About two weeks ago. Two, three weeks at ago. Harrogate, yeah. um, in Harrogate at our big, big trade show. The great news is we've also got one to give away. All you need to do is join in with the chat this morning. Any questions you've got for Ian or myself or anything about eye candy or this particular pram, just ask. We will be drawing the winner at the end, so make sure you stay tuned. If you can share, that would be brilliant, and I will try and make sure I thank you if you share, so do let us know. So, black edition. It kind of is what it says on the packet, isn't it? Black edition. Yeah. Black chassis. Black fabrics, black, stunning. Black accessories, uh, even what we normally make is sort of grey buttons to highlight that we've made those black as well. All black. All, All black. black. And very, very much on trend during this year and coming through for next year. There's a lot of brands doing that real high-end, sleek, all-black look. So it's really nice that we've now got something like this in the eye candy range. And yeah. 
those people who do join us regularly will know that we're massive fans of the orange. I, I used to love the peach. If I was yeah. choosing peach orange now, and I've had, I've had two peaches. Yeah. I think I'd go orange now. Wow, there you I think, go. I think I would go orange. So caricot is suitable from birth, isn't it? So yep. can we have a look at the caricot? We've got our cameraman here. Jose's our cameraman today, and he's going to do some close-ups as we go through it. I'm just going to take off the changing bag. We'll come back to the changing bag. Talking of bags, I did forget. We have got a second prize. Yes, indeed. First prize is the beautiful eye candy black edition, orange black edition. Second prize... We have got an eye candy goodie bag. Anybody like to guess what might be in the goodie bag, okay? Send your guesses in and we'll have a look and see whether anybody gets it right. So we've got two winners today. So any questions, give us a shout. So caricot, suitable from birth, isn't it? Yeah, so caricot is suitable from birth. Um, it's suitable for permanent overnight sleeping as well, which is a really you know what? good feature. That is a massive bonus for parents, particularly... If, you know, if you're going away travelling, you don't want to take your Moses basket or bedside crib. Yeah. You know, some people will use it all the time at home. You know, instead of buying a bedside crib, instead of buying a Moses basket. So you kind of tick those features off. Yeah. But especially when you're travelling and you've got a lot of... You haven't got much space in the car. Babies come with so much stuff, don't they? Yeah. I mean, as someone like myself as well, who was really, really forgetful <laughs> to take those things with you. <laughs> Uh, having to nip to somewhere to try and find something like that as you well. You didn't forget the baby? Not, not the baby, but forgetting something like a, a travel cot or something like that as well. And the other thing is, if you are away, you want baby to sleep. You really want baby to sleep, don't you? You yeah. know, if you do get that chance to go away. And baby will be used to sleeping in their pram. Um, yeah. They're used to the smell of it. They're used to the sound, the feel and everything. You pop them in this big travel cot. When you go away, they don't sleep. No. They're a bit crunchy. They're big, they don't smell the same. So use your carry cot for your pushchair if it's suitable for overnight sleeping, which it is on the orange. Yeah. So can we have a look at the inside? Because it is beautiful, isn't it? And Lucy was very comfortable in this. <laughs> Laura was really worried that Lucy was going to cry because she is ready for a feed, but she just settled. Yeah, so we've got a lovely fleece lining in here as well, um, all surrounding the whole thing so we, we recommend that obviously that you uh, hand wash but it is removable if you need to uh, it is nice, so soft, I, I really wish mattress. people could touch it but it's almost it, it's almost velvet it's so smooth isn't it yeah really nice and smooth uh, the fabric as well so with the with the new orange that we've made it's uh, a jersey fabric that we've sort of brought in especially for the new orange yeah so lovely soft uh, fabric. It's SPF factor 50 as well. So And is that over the whole thing or is that just the hood? Uh, so all the fabric so as well. So we've got the, the apron here as well and, and the hood fabric as well. So it's super, super soft. You can't feel it at home, but anybody who's coming into store are very welcome just to come <laughs> and ha have a stroke of the eye candy. Um, but it is super soft. So wherever baby's kicking their legs, moving around, they are going to be very, very comfortable. So we've got some guesses here for our second prize, which is our goodie bag. First prize is the pushchair, okay? The eye candy orange black edition. Um, but we've got some guesses here. What might be in? A cup holder, maybe. A travel mug, maybe. A blanket, a onesie, a teddy bear. Um, let's see what we've got some other guesses. I've seen some other guesses. Somebody said a bib. I saw somebody saying a bib earlier. Uh, pushchair mobile, baby bottles. They're all eye candy themed inside our bag. So we'll show you in just a moment. Um, Marie says about the carry cot, can you get a stand for the carry cot to put it next to your bed? Um, we don't do uh, an eye candy stand, mm -hmm. but again... Hey, eye candy, if you're watching, that'd be a really good idea, because we like those. I've got a feeling they might be. But, um, yeah, so if, if obviously if they're listening, maybe we, that's something we can develop. We do obviously do elevators as well for the, for the chassis as well, so if you do want to bring the, the, the carry cart higher, we can use those. Obviously, some people, if there's space, you can use... Uh, the chassis still, leave it on the chassis, put the brake on. Yeah, um, make sure you put the brake on. Make sure you put the brake on. Um, but yeah, to, to elevate the, the carry cot up, we can still do that. So maybe you don't actually need the stand. 
we can still just use move the, it, the Move it up on the elevators. So lots of people saying it's an amazing price for expectant parents. Um, somebody, Angie's got her fingers crossed for her cousin who is due at the end of the month. I hope you shared, Angie. We'll get your cousin on here as well. Christina says she's never won a thing. If I, if, if I do win this, I have to have a new baby. Well, we can't, we can't, we, we, no, we can't, we can't encourage people to, well, we can encourage people to go out and have babies. Let's face it, the industry we're in, you know, we, yeah. we can indeed. So, suitable for overnight sleep from newborn, how long is our carry cot going to last? Uh, I can generally recommend for six months mm -hmm. or until baby can hold their own head up. Um, and then we would move across into the into the seat unit. It's a huge carry cot, to be honest. Though, to be there's so much space. I think it's 85 centimeters long. We'd have to probably check. But uh, yeah, really big, spacious carry cot. It is a so. nice, spacious carry cot. And six months is generally the age when you're going to start thinking about moving baby across. The best place for baby for those first six months is laying completely flat. Now, it's safety tested to nine kilograms, but your child is likely to outgrow it age and developmentally and size-wise before they get to nine kilograms. But as you can see, a nice spacious carry cot. And our fleece goes all the way around. You've got a lovely mattress here, which you can slip the cover off as well if it needs washing. I'll just pop that back down like so. Now, hood-wise, can we have a closer look at the hood on the carry cot? Yeah. So we have got an extendable hood, as you can see. We'll just pop the bumper bar back. As you gate opening bumper bar, a nice big hood. So even in the wind, it's going to really protect little one, isn't it? If you've got it open. Yeah. So the extendable uh, hood. So we've got it fully extended here, but protecting from all the elements really, so either the sun or wind. Um, again, it's water resistant, so yep. if you get caught in the rain, it will protect there. It does, obviously the whole push chair comes with a rain cover um, for torrential rain, what we might have had over the last couple of weeks. But um, if you are sort of caught in a, in a little bit of a shower, it was Yeah, and that's really useful because a number well. of times you go out, there is a shower, by the time, I mean, uh, uh, rain covers, and th this is not anything to do with eye candy, but rain covers are a bit of a pain. Um, you know, as a mum, you've got to get it out, you've got to unfold it, you've got to get it on. If you've got a nice big hood that has that resistance, that gives you time to dash into a shop or dash yeah. somewhere dry, doesn't it? Exactly. Um, so, yeah, it is water resistant. If, if you are in an absolute downpour, then obviously use your rain cover. But if you can get into a shop with this covering, that's going to help. And it's nice and dark inside, so if you are trying to persuade little ones to have a little nap during the day or in the evening, they have got a nice dark environment. But on those sunny days, when it's a bit warmer, we need lots of ventilation, we've got the ventilation at the back. So yeah, nice great big ventilation uh, gap here as well. So again, letting air through or there may be a little bit of more light if you want to or anything like that as well. It's quite useful as well if you've got that for using it for the overnight sleep just to allow that air into the carry cot because sometimes in houses or hotel rooms, if you're lucky enough to go away, if there's a radiator on, we don't want baby to get too hot. So we often recommend for that overnight sleeping to have the ventilation open just to allow that airflow to keep going. Exactly. So let's have a look at the chassis. We've got a few people asking about the chassis. And one of the questions has been, does it have an extendable handle for our tall parents or our shorter parents? Uh, shall, I, shall I model it? Would you like over, me to model over it? Over at your side. Here yeah. we go. Look, it does. So it goes quite low. Okay. So for our shorter parents, um, you know, it's suitable. Also, if you've got a sibling who's helping out, doing the pushing. But again you have got, that's a very high handle. I mean, I haven't got high heels on, but even if I've got very high heels on, that would still be a little bit high for me. But there is a reason our handle comes out so far, isn't it? Because of no, something that is very, very clever on the chassis. If we just spin her round, take the brake off. Um, I nearly ran you over there, Ian. Yeah, I know, yeah. Uh, not on purpose, <laughs> honestly. I would have done it a lot harder had, had, had I been doing it on purpose. We're going to pop the carry cut off. While the carry cut's off, you can see we've got a humongous basket. I mean, you could fit a lot in that basket. 
Uh, yeah, so the actual literage of the basket is 64 litres. Which a lot of them are 50 litres, yeah. or even smaller. Yeah, so exactly. I think it's one of the biggest baskets on the market. Um, as a mum, really useful, I have to say. A big basket, I don't think I thought about it with my first quite so much. Once I got on to number two and number three, big basket was a definite must for me. A yeah. definite, definite must. But also, what I think is also noticeable is, we've got this wider bit on the back of the basket on the back of the chassis going across the back wheels what's this bit for okay so this is uh just quickly with the baskets that's also Sorry. a 10 10 kilogram weight limit as well so unobstructed there's a lot of nappies you can put in there and, and a lot of baguettes now those people who join us regularly this is a baguette friendly <laughs> basket you can get a lot of baguettes in there um, but yeah, so we've got the integrated ride on board, basically. Aha. I'm not going to stand on it because I'm too heavy, but imagine but, small feet. Yeah, small oh, feet. Up dirty to, shoe, look. Up Let's to do 20, that shoe. Up to 20 kilograms. I'm a little bit over um, 20 kilograms. But um, again, so using my daughter as an example, uh, she was three and 15 kilograms. So yeah. going, going right up there. But again, with an integrated ride on board, there's like four plus points i think there's probably even five or six if you really use your imagination but one you don't have to remember my memory again bringing this up i think this is a male thing okay you know i think it's <laughs> probably a male thing. quite possibly but obviously we take children out as well so you'd want not having to remember your ride on board was a yep. was a huge plus point two again walking in the stride behind we've got the great big handle but again, you're not going to kick it. It's just part of your chassis, it. isn't it? Exactly. Whereas if you've got an extra ride on board, you end up walking like this often. Or a penguin. Or a penguin, yeah. You walk like this. Like this yeah. Behind. Yeah. With... Great. You should see us walking down the street. But <laughs> it is. It also means it's really well balanced. And the big thing about ride on boards is you can get a lot of universal ride on boards, but it will invalidate the warranty of your chassis and your pushchair. So if a brand does their own ride on board, or even better, it's built in, so you don't even have to remember it or purchase it as an, an additional extra, That's you amazing. know you're not going to affect the warranty of your chassis. Yeah. So great feature, definite thumbs up. All pushchairs should have these. Yeah, and when we come to it as well, when we do the fold, you don't have to worry about moving it to the side or tying it up or anything else like that. It's there, and you mentioned it before, you don't end up having to purchase another one. Yeah is another great bonus point. So if you're using the ride on board and you've got a newborn, obviously we have, you've just added some adapters on here, haven't you? Yeah, so I mentioned them very briefly earlier about using it as a sort of an overnight sleeper, but the elevators here are part of the package. So, so they all come. included, all, all included. included. So our winner will get the elevators. Those people who've just joined us, we are giving this pram away today. It is the eye candy orange black edition. Yeah. Um, and it's worth almost 900 pounds. All you need to do is join in with the chat this morning. Second prize is our eye candy goodie bag. And I'll show you some of the bits and pieces in that shortly. Um, so a great, great prize. If you've hit share this morning, thank you very much because sharing is caring. We all know this. <laughs> So brand new, if you just joined us, this has only just launched. They only started going out to customers about a week ago. We've got some in the warehouse, so they're you know, ready to go. Anybody who wants to purchase, if you're not our lucky winner today, it can be with you tomorrow. So we have got stock of um, the Black Edition. So we've had a look at the carry cart. First sort of six months to nine kilograms, but it's going to be more six month age developmentally yeah. when you're moving on to your carry cart. We've had a look at the elevators, humongous basket, humongous basket. Um, what do you want to look at next? Uh, should we move on to the seat unit? Let's have a look at the seat unit. A few people asking about the fold, so we'll come back to the fold, don't worry. Um, but we're going to have a look at the seat unit. Now, this is one of our push chairs that is um, one frame, two fabrics. Yeah. So you get one frame in your box, which you can see there. And then you, all you're going to do once you've finished with your carry cart is take off your fabrics and pop on your seat fabrics. Now, it's not tricky, is it? No, not at all. You know, it really you isn't tricky. It just means pop. you don't have as much uh, to store if you don't, you know, we're all short of space. It's more environmentally friendly. We don't need, we don't need to, do we? No. So um, it is far more environmentally friendly. 
We have actually, a little bit blue Peter wise, got one here ready just for the means, um, just to make life a little bit easier. So you're going to pop on your fabrics for your seat unit and you're going to move over your hood as well. So we'll pop that on there. While you're just popping that on there, let's have a look what people are thinking. Holly says she loves the extendable handle. We're both tall, so it's amazing. Definitely worth looking at eye candy if you are a taller parent because particularly I find the orange works really, really well. And because of the way that the chassis is designed, you're not going to kick the chassis either. Um, Amy says it's easy if the toddler wants to get in and out without having to fold um, your boogie board out, your toddler board out of the way when you're getting on and off a bus. Yep, going up and down curbs, you've got no extra bumps. Built-in toddler board, really, really good idea. Jasmine says, incredible, such a good idea. My daughter will be two when baby two arrives, so that is amazing. And I think at that age, you know, you do need, often need that ride on board. And if you don't need it for long, it's not going to get in your way. So as if by magic, we have transformed. Baby is now, around about six months, going to move onto into the seat. Now the seat is recommended from around about six months, isn't it? Yeah. It's what we call a bucket seat. So it's not a completely lie flat seat. So we've moved our fabrics over, round about, baby's round about six months. Um, so can we have a look at the seat unit? Yeah. Um, again, so I'm using the elevators here because like we've just said, probably at around about six months, bringing the baby up a little bit closer, you've got the, a bit more interaction with you baby. Are. I'm just going to model it here. Sorry, have, our poor cameraman is going, oh, she's backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. But it is quite nice that you are so close to baby to interact. They're up and out of the way of any exhaust fumes. It's just that little bit higher. Yeah. Um, and so like we've just said, we've moved the hood across. So we've still got that... Uh, still got that fabric. We've still got the extending hood across as well. So if we want to, to cover baby away from any of the elements, we still can. We've still got the ventilation if we need to uh, in, in warmer weather and everything like that. But if we tuck away, and we'll just come straight on for you, Jose. Um, we've got this lovely design with the cross hatching going all the way through the seat unit. Lovely soft and padding for baby. It is really nicely padded, isn't it? But also, I'm going to do my mum bit here. They're nice wipeable fabrics. They, you know, <laughs> they're nice and wipeable because babies get messy. You know, let's face it, they do get messy. So nice wipeable fabrics, but I quite, I love the quilted sort of design and detail on the inside. Yeah, that quilted design goes through to the, to the shoulder pads um, and through for... Okay, that one. Um, and, and through to the harness system. So it's a five point harness as well. So if you unclip this a minute. So one point, two point, three, four, and five point harness. So what's really useful about the five point harness is that if baby might be being a little bit wiggly, we can just go around the waist to a begin with. A wiggly baby. A wiggly baby, imagine. But you can go around the waist and then clip over the shoulder. That's quite good because there are times when babies and toddlers do not want to get in their pram. Oh, exactly. And it, it's not just children in an eye candy pram, is it? It's all pram. All, all, all push chairs. All push chairs and all children. But if we, are, we have got a well-behaved baby, then we can put them together to begin with just by going over here. And then we can go in together there. And obviously nice detailing on the buckle. And then just to undo, we are just pressing in the middle here. And obviously I'm pressing there with a bit of force in the thumb. Baby's not going to be able to undo that or toddler through there. So Kim Nichols says the quilted design is lush, lush. Um, Belinda says, I love that feature. Um, how many kilograms is a seat unit for, says Lucia? Um, so like I've said, we're on the elevators at the moment. That's going to go up to 15 kilograms. Okay. Um, I think I mentioned before, but again, my... My daughter was three, up to 15 kilograms. She doesn't want to be this close to me at three years old, but there we go. I'm sure she does. I'm sure oh, she does. We'll, we'll, we'll change the feature in a moment, but yeah, she was rather look out of the big wide world. So once we can, if a child is over 15 kilograms, do we need to get rid of this 
Yeah. This chair. So we can no, we don't need we to. Don't. We can take it off the elevators and we can go up to twenty five kilograms. So yeah. it goes all the way up to twenty five kilograms. Fifteen kilograms if you're on your elevators, but twenty five kilograms, and we'll show you that mode in just a moment. Yeah. So twenty five kilograms is is pretty market leading to be perfect. Yeah. Honest. Really, really good weight limit on that. Um, we have got the recliner button here, so again to to lie flat if baby needs it's not a perfect life flat um, because of the sort of the seat unit so again we've mentioned not suitable for from birth but again if baby wants to nap or toddler wants to nap we are able to do that there and we have a lot of people come in store and they say oh but i think they'll be uncomfortable but actually by the time they get to six months i'm just going to recline him back again Actually, they've got their calves supported. Now, I had what we often refer to as a bucket seat, so a seat that goes like this that's not completely lie flat. I've had numerous push chairs for my three children. I'm very lucky that I get to use a lot of push chairs, not so much now because they're too big, but they all slept absolutely fine in this kind of seat. And I think it is a parental perception that they want to be flat, but actually, if you've got a lie flat seat, you find that they're curling their legs up because they want to support their calves. So don't worry about them not being comfortable. My slept absolutely fine. Yeah. So if, uh, like we mentioned, if you take the elevators off, and it is just a button on the side, so nice and easy to do. Although We've got, I'm sold already. We're loving these. We're, we're, everybody is loving this. This is our prize today. So we're looking at the orange black edition. Um, we've got a few people who are asking, whether you can um, buy seats and whether we can turn this into a push chair for two, you're jumping the gun, <laughs> hang fire, because the answer is yes, but hang fire. We're going to tell you all about that in a moment. Don't worry, we haven't forgotten that the orange is, it grows with your family. It's very, very future proof. Yes, we'll come to that. Um, They're too good, you see. I don't, we should, we don't, they don't need us, you you've see. You've got some, some, some brilliant viewers, haven't you? We I've have, we have, before. we have. So, um, Kay Armstrong says, eye candy prams just get better, come a long way over the years. They have, haven't they? They have. So, obviously, we, we had the apple and the apple, pear. Apple, apple to pear. I mean, that was a long time ago now. It was a long time ago. There's still a few so, knocking around. They're yeah, built oh. to last. You still well, find them. Well, this is, this is the thing. So, eye candy products have a five-year warranty as well. Which is really, really good warranty because that's going to see your child all the way through. Actually, probably two children. If yeah. you have them close together, that's two children, really. Yes, it is. Um, and again, as long as you sort of treat it properly and everything else like that, it pretty much covers everything that, that you need it to cover as well. Um, and, you know, your team are really good. We, we don't, I'll, I'll be honest, we don't really have any, many problems with eye candy. But any little snacks we've had have been sorted out really, really quickly. There you go. So I think when a brand offers a longer warranty, that shows they've got confidence in their product as well. Yeah, exactly. Uh, full confidence in the product. If we're going to turn it into a double... Um, it needs to last, it doesn't needs it? To it needs to last. Yeah, of course it does. Of course it does. So people are loving the warranty. Um, Annabelle says the warranty is amazing. Um, Hannah's got a little baby boy due in April, so I bet she's got her fingers crossed to um, win this this morning. Kaylee has owned four peaches with her older children. Wow. That beats me, I've had two. There you go, four peaches is probably one of the most, probably. Actually, no, I'm lying, I've had three. <laughs> Where did you get them from? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I had one of the original peach, when it was a peach jogger, yeah. a very long time ago because my little boy was two maybe and he is now 13 so we're going back a long long time and we did the bliss boogie push with eye candy this is before even you were eye candy yeah. the bliss boogie push in i think it was kensington park and we did it with one of the gladiators a lady called amy guy who was a gladiator we're going back 11 years you know you're looking at me going i don't know what you're yeah, talking I about i watch gladiators did you yeah i watched yeah so imagine me <laughs> running with a gladiator and a two-year-old not a good look i tell you not no you're not saying a word are you very very diplomatic but that's my claim to fame we cut the ribbon and it was the eye candy um and they sponsored the bliss yeah. boogie push in london anyway 
There we go. We, we digress to my, my moment of fame. My moment of fame. Anyway, meanwhile, back to our Black Edition, which is our prize today. Worth how much? Uh, £899. <sighs> £899. And you get pretty much everything you need for one child in, in your packet, in your bundle, yep. don't you? So, yeah. So, as we mentioned before, it's one frame and two fabrics, but you get the carry cart, you'll get the seat unit, the chassis, the, the built-in ride on board. Um, we'll come through them rain again cover. in a bit. The rain cover, the elevators, you get car seat adapters, a bag, a duopod. Uh, duopod, we'll come to in a moment. We'll come to a bit, We'll yeah. come to it in a moment, but eye those candies. of you who don't know, eye candy call it, it's a duopod. The rest of us call it a foot muff, okay, or a cosy toes, but they call it a duopod. There is a reason why we I call know, it I know, I know, I know. But we'll, we'll come, we'll come to, to that in just a moment. Um, and just while we're on the seat unit as well, we obviously have this uh, two pockets at the back. So we have a smaller pocket here for smaller things. We have a bigger pocket at the back for bigger things. Those and people who join us regularly will know that this is Georgia's snack pocket. She's obsessed with snacks. So well, she we'll needs to be able to put snacks. Is that the smaller pocket or the bigger The big pocket. pocket. Oh, wow. You've met Georgia. It's the big pocket. <laughs> she loves her snacks. But what I would say is, I have always tried to keep in a push chair, if it's got a pocket, a pack of wipes, a spare nappy, and a baby grow, because you can absolutely bet your bottom dollar you're going to go out, maybe not got enough nappies, because it does happen, because we all have baby brain, exploding nappies, sick, all those things. So if you've got a spare with you, you're sorted. Yeah, and there's plenty of space for all of those in these pockets. It's great if you're sending sending your push chair out with Ian and he's forgotten the changing bag, okay? It's in there, it's in there. I'll have forgotten all of it, but yeah, all in there for me. And then also you've got access to your uh, shoulder straps when you need to change those as baby goes. But yeah, they're tucked nice and away. Nobody can see those. We're loving the pocket. Give us a thumbs up if you think the pocket is a good idea. Why all push chair brands don't put a pocket on the back of their seat? I don't know, because it's a wasted space, isn't it's it? It's madness. Madness. Pure madness. madness. But you've got it covered at eye candy, so we're all yeah. right. And then obviously you've still got all the access to your... Look at those thumbs up for the pocket. Stick. Who knew the pocket was going to get so many thumbs up? Unbelievable. Um, and then obviously, like we were talking earlier, we can swap this round to be world-facing. So again, as child gets 25 older, kilograms, though. 25, 25 kilograms. kilograms, a real decent weight, isn't it? Yeah, and again, we can still recline down. And we can still fit another toddler on the toddler board. Yeah, so the ride on board still ride on board. works. Toddler board, ride on toddler board. board, ride on There's board. A million words for it. But um, yeah, still fit the toddler on. So we just use the elevators again to, to bring baby forwards. So we're getting lots, still lots of thumbs up, still lots wow. of thumbs up. Hannah says she's only ever done it once, but leaving the baby bag behind is a nightmare. Genius idea, yep. Yeah. I also had, in the boot of my car, spare nappies. <laughs> the problem is when you forget to move them up to the next size and you realise you've run out of nappies or something and then you're like squeezing them in a nappy that's too snug. small. Yeah, a little bit snug. And you're like, wait, if you can have another exploding nappy, wait till we get home, please. <laughs> there we go. Right on board with, with the seat unit as well. Now, somebody has asked, can we fit the rain cover in the pocket at the back? Will it fit? As if by magic we have a rain cover, okay? Will it fit in the pocket at the back? I would say it's fine when your rain cover's dry, but if it's wet, <laughs> I put it at the bottom just so that it's not trapping all the moisture in there. So dry, brilliant idea. Wet, I put it in the bottom, okay? I'll put it in the basket so it doesn't go a bit yeah. Near. But there we go, rain cover. I can't remember who it was who asked that. Can you fit it in? Um, it is done. There's so many. Oh, no. Amy said they should make it slightly bigger for the rain cover. It fits, Amy. It's it fits. They've thought of it. You're absolutely I'm fine. Pinch the, pinch Don't, the worry. Zip, though. Don't worry. Don't worry. So, um, lots of people saying that the pocket is a great idea. Claire says it looks great world facing. Um, as does Gemma, they're loving the look of this. Give us a heart if you think it looks stunning. I think it does. No, I think, I think so. it does. If I had an orange, I think it would be Black Edition. Yeah. Do you have a favourite? Personally? Yeah. Uh, I lo I'm loving the black. 
Okay, so you know, black's mine, okay, but you can't have the black. before that, I really like the blue mist. The blue mist? Yes, because it's a little bit different. It is different. There's We've a got a blue mist here, which we'll show you in just a moment. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like a, a, a denim blue. But yeah, we'll show Everybody's saying they can't count the number of times they've forgotten the rain cover. Yes. Yeah, okay, yeah. Have you ever forgotten the rain cover? I mean, I don't forget anything, so it's, You do, you forget everything I apart forget from your child. everything, I forget everything apart, apart from, your from little my girl. little girl. So. so, Laura says you can stick your phone and keys in there. Yep, it's a great pocket. We love the pocket. Well done, I candy. We love the pocket. So a lot of people, maybe they've just joined us. Basket, Patty's just said, basket size is so big, I like it. It's humongous, absolutely humongous. I mean, this is a large changing bag. Just to put it into perspective, you know, look how much space there is in there. You get your shopping in, you can get a million baguettes. If you're having a party <laughs> and you need a lot of baguettes, you can get a lot of baguettes in there. We did do a video of the orange yeah. with oranges in the bottom. And I can't remember how many oranges we got in, but we did count. Yeah, I'm going to find that fact out, but we did do a video quite yeah. a, a lot. I think we did a competition with about how many... How could... many oranges could we fit in yeah. the basket? Yeah, we did. That was a long time ago. Zoe Adams is loving the black design. Anybody else loving the black? So this is the black edition. It's just come out. It's worth £899. You do get the other bits as well, not just the chassis. But we are giving one away this morning. So stay tuned because we will be drawing the winner live at the, live at the end of our live. Yeah. So, so you get the bag, you get the duo pod as well as part of it. Well, I just took the seat unit off just to make it a little slightly easier for me to show you the wheels as well, because then we've basically covered everything apart from the fold. But the wheels are a, a single polymer rubber. Get you with your single polymer rubber. Yeah. So what does that mean to everybody at home? But that does mean that... Um, they're puncture proof, so they're not filled with air. They're so not, they're solid. They're not filled with uh, foam. You don't have to worry about like filling them with anything, to be honest. They are a solid fabric, but they're, they're soft. Um, you run over a thorn or a, a stone or a twig or anything like that, you're not going to get a puncture. But it's still going to give a good ride, isn't it? Oh, yeah, exactly. So, so again, the, you'll see the design in the tyre. So we've got the tread and that extra, the bit through the middle to give you extra. So years ago, and I'm going back 20 years, when tyres were solid, it gave a really harsh, almost a plasticky ride. But technology has come on such a long way that most brands now have the option or included are the solid tyres. Yeah. But these still give a really good ride, don't they? We've yeah, tested exactly. it out on our test track. So we have a big test track in store with cobbles and they're quite bumpy cobble, cobbles. They're not the smooth ones, you know, that you see um, through in York and places like that and Lincoln, okay. Our cobbles Coronation are- Coronation Street cobbles. Coronation Street cobbles, yeah. They're not as good as Coronation Street <laughs> cobbles. Our cobbles are wonky donkey cobbles, okay. But it still gives a really good ride. If you do come into store, we do encourage everybody to give um, push chairs a test drive and we've got weighted babies. We don't always have Lucy, Laura's little girl, who was in at the beginning of our live this morning, if you missed it. We don't always have Lucy in store for you to borrow, but we do have weighted babies because push chairs push very differently with some weight in. Yeah. Also, with the orange as well, we can lock the wheels straight as well in the front. So that's really useful, useful if you're going over really wonky cobbles or if you're going a little bit more all-terrain. So just with this clip here, up and down there when they're straight to bring those forwards again lots of people nicola says she's had a peach and it was really smooth and easy to push um anita says we're lucky to have these new prams these days they're really user friendly and baby friendly as well so i know you're not part of the design team so when the designers are doing new eye candy pram or enhancing an eye candy pram that's already on the market are we looking at, is it style, functionality, comfort for baby? What's the most important thing? Um, the, the most important thing to eye candy is functionality. Being able to push, having the, the comfort for baby so that they're able to do everything else. We then look at the styling and, and mm -hmm. everything else. But the, yeah, the main part of eye candy, which has been the thing of eye candy push chairs since day one, is being a big comfortable pushchair for 
baby, mm -hmm. but then being able to push. And so looking at that functionality, yeah. looking at that ease of use for mum or dad or child yeah. mind or exactly, grandparent exactly. or whoever's looking after a little one, but also making sure that baby's nice and comfortable. Exactly. And I think just... But then you, being able to style it afterwards is... Yeah, we, is we can't, do, we can't argue. Eye candy's known for its styling. You yeah, know, exactly. they, they are pretty. You know, they are pretty, yeah. pretty push chairs. So, and this one is the black edition that we've got here. Now, while we've got, I do want to have a little look at our duo pod in a moment, but while we've got everything off, and we'll put the seat unit back on in a minute, fold? Yeah. Does it fold? It Can does. it fold? It does fold Yes, up. it does fold. Um, so, obviously, this is with the seat off. It will fold with the seat unit on as well. So, should we do it with the seat unit off first, and then have a look at it with the seat unit on? Yeah. Okay. So first of all, using your brake, which is this pedal here. So put the brake on. Bet you please you put nice shoes on today, aren't you? Didn't mm. put your welly boots on or anything like no. that. No, <laughs> dirty trainers. Oh, it's, only, it's only a tiny <laughs> mark. <laughs> it shows that they're being used. I, I like it. So to fold, um, it doesn't really matter where the handle is, but for, for the smallest fold, if we put the handle down to the lowest position, then there's two safety buttons here because again because the seat will fold with um the seat unit on we've got to have that, that yeah two, we don't we don't want it to function. fold with the baby in yeah, it no exactly. no it's not good so um there's two two buttons underneath these but if you press those in and slide up and then all we've got to do is just put some weight down through the push chair and it will fold down nice and low We've got somebody so, here who's got a cerium and who nice loves their cerium. Nice. Sorry, we'll digress, but... No, very good. Love the cerium as well, if that's uh, the, the black on black version peach. of the peach. So, so we'll fold nice and, nice and low if it's going in the boot, but we'll also freestand. So if we're, we're putting it in the hallway or anything like that to, again, save some space, but just with the chassis, I think we're in, in nine kilograms weight limit, but also eye candy sort of designed their push chairs to bring you in this sort of... It has a phrase. Do you know what the phrase is? If the it goes... belly space? No, the tummy gap. We call it the tummy gap oh. here at Push Chair Expert, the tummy gap. I call it a belly space. Belly space, tummy gap. Maybe because I've got a big belly and you've just got nice tummies. Maybe. We won't yeah, go into yeah. detail about that. We won't go into detail about yeah, that one. So my big belly or a nice tummy space there but to bring it into your center of gravity to bring it to put it into your boot but yeah so they're loving how here. flat it is as well it is quite a nice when it's laid down um a nice flat fold as well so yeah. popping it in your boot it's, it's not really bulky is it no it's not bulky at all if we really want to we can remove the wheels to make it extra extra small and they're not difficult to remove. You don't need um, an so engineering degree to work it out. You just press that button in the middle. But again, using the, the tummy space to, to save actual space in your boot, you can just tuck those out of the way. Rachel well says she's got no to. belly space right now. <laughs> they're all calling it a belly space. It's a tummy gap. What's going on? You've changed, you've changed the world, <laughs> I'm, Ian. I'm sorry. You've changed the world. <laughs> We've got a few people who are asking about car seats, so we'll run through some car seat compatibility in a moment. Um, but unfold, easy, difficult? Uh, really easy. There's two clips, to, to be honest, if Jose can see. There's one on the outside and there's one on the inside. So depending on how you want to use it, but if you just unclip there, and literally you just lift it up. You don't even have to lift it off the floor. Just it lift. just goes really nice. It's quite ergonomic, just, isn't just it? Just lift the handle up. So anyone who's got a bad back, a bit of a dodgy back, often you have a dodgy back after you've had baby, it is nice and easy, isn't it? Yeah. So fold with the seat unit on, because there are a few, there are some push chairs that fold with the seat unit on, but not all fold with the seat unit on. Some people it's a deal breaker. Some people it's, they're not bothered about it, but there are times when it's useful. Personally, lifting things in and out of the car, because I've got big boots, I always put my seat unit in and then my chassis in. Yep. If you've got smaller boots, sometimes it's easier to fold all as one. But for me, it's if you're in a restaurant and you've got to fold your pushchair up 
and leave it somewhere while you're eating, I think this is really useful. Yeah, so again, seat unit on, don't even have to move the seat unit, so you're in the, the normal seat position. Same as before, two buttons on the side, we're gonna lift and just let it drop down again. So again, we're nice, low and flat. If we're in the restaurant, tucks away nice and See, flat. See, now we can go out. Seat. I'm just dreaming of going out to restaurants. It's, it, 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 we've <laughs> just changed from being in lockdown where we couldn't go out anywhere, now we're thinking about this. And you can take the bumper bar off as well, can't you? Yeah, you want so to. again, the, the swivel bumper bar still, so we can tuck that out, out the way. You don't even have to take it off completely. Um, but yeah, you can take the bumper bar off or swing it out of the way. We've got somebody wrote, I've lost their comment now, I can't find it, but somebody wrote that they've thought of everything. Well, we haven't finished yet with the orange <laughs> because there's a few more things. And if you've noticed to my right hand side, you'll see that the orange isn't just a push chair for one, but we'll come on to that in just a moment. Jem Crittenden says she likes to keep the seat on when folding. Yeah, some people do, some people take it off, but it's nice to have the option if you want it. Exactly. And again, with the fold, I mentioned before that there was two buttons that you can use to unfold. So again, if this is lying down, you can't sometimes get to the button inside, but therefore you can use this one on the outside. So just again, just during the lift, or if it was freestanding, you can get to the one inside, but that's why we now have the button on the outside. But I think that's a really good idea. It means no trap fingers. Thing. And yeah, exactly. different people find different things easier. Yeah, and again, so I do this Every, all day, every day. The, the ladies at Pushchair Expert do this a lot of the time, all day. Obviously, they're not just selling eye candy pushchairs. I wish they oh. did. Or just have an eye candy store and not everywhere. get well, rid of exactly. everything else. Okay. But as obviously as you use your pushchairs, you will find your own way of, yeah. of, of folding it and unfolding it as a, as a technique that you'll, you'll use. Yeah. So somebody's written, can't believe this will be a double push chair. You're jumping, you're jumping ahead a little bit. <laughs> um, in case he gets a surprise and he's having twins. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> it does happen. What a surprise that would be. Right, so Duopod. Okay, I've said, those people who don't know, it's, it's eye candies, cosy toes, eye candies, foot muff. But it is called a Duopod for a reason, isn't it? Uh, yeah. So again, we've got this lovely fleece lining um again it's so hard to describe how soft this is it, it is it's unbelievable all, it's, just come into store and feel it as all i can say because it, it's not really i don't think it's fleece i think it's more velvety yeah um I, i'd like a fleece like that my fleeces don't feel like that the amount of people who have asked me if we make this in adult size is do you make this in adult size unbelievable <laughs> um could you well, again, so if you're, you're feeding baby or anything, there's nothing stopping you putting your own Putting your toes in. in. Watching. I know, it could be a toe stri warmer. Strictly come dancing on yeah. a Saturday night. Other programmes are available. But, <laughs> yeah, there's nothing stopping you using it while, whilst baby's toes. asleep or something there. But the reason we call this a duopod is if, I don't know, say, come, come March or, I don't know, September and you've got some slightly nicer weather and it's it's brisk not freezing kind of thing you can turn it inside out um and have the fleece on the outside so it's not quite so warm but on the inside but yeah so yeah and fleece on the outside is, not asked, so is this included with the i can the orange black edition or is this a, yeah. an accessory? No, so this is included as well. So £899, and it includes your Duopod foot muff. <laughs> yes, does it, it include does. anything else? It includes the bag <laughs> as well. Did you see how if, I did that? As if by magic, it's also moved there. moved onto the bag. But it's not just a bag, it is a rucksack changing bag. So I'm going to let Ian have it talk you through this. I have had somebody asking whether you can buy these separately. Can you buy these separately, the bag? We can't buy those bags separately. We do just buy the whole pram. It's fine if you need a changing bag and you like the bag. You've obviously got a small child, so just buy a new pram. There we go, sorted. But you do sell some of your bags separately. We don't do you? do uh, some bags separately as well. So um, there are bags available for my candy. So Susan has asked um, about the Duopod. Is it machine washable? Um, 
with all eye candy products, we generally sort of say that it's hand wash, really. Um, there's nothing to stop you sort of washing it at your yeah, own I discretion. Yeah, I think it is machine washable, on a very isn't it? Low but on a low, yeah, don't, you don't want to be whacking it up to 60 degrees, but it will go in the washing machine. Um, sorry, we digress. Can we go back to the bag? Got somebody saying, can oh, we sorry. have a closer look at the bag? It looks really spacious. Amy says, and loves a good rucksack style bag. Get so much in yeah. them. Give us, give us um, a thumbs up if you prefer a rucksack bag or if you prefer your over your shoulder, give us a heart. I'm interested to see which people prefer. I think I prefer a rucksack bag. Um, I just think it just gives you a bit more flexibility. I'll be honest, as a, as a dad, as a dad, I prefer a rucksack. Um, I use a different colour version of this mm -hmm. um, as my day-to-day -day bag with, with work. Your man bag. Yes, but it's a rucksack rather than okay. a man bag, isn't it? So, well, which is probably why I prefer it. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, but yeah, so but changing bags have moved on in their styling, haven't they? They're very much oh, taken sure. the inspiration from bag designers around the world, brought it into changing bags. So it doesn't like it doesn't shout out, "I'm a changing bag." Yeah, I mean, again, like I say, I I I use it for just my normal work bag. It, I don't have. My, my daughter out with me or anything anymore. You don't, you don't bring your daughter to work? I don't, no. 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 Um, It'd be fun bringing a five-year-old to work. Yeah. It would, yeah, it'd be great. She, she knows how to fold eye candy push chairs, yeah. to be honest. You but bring your five-year-old, I'll bring my six-year-old, they'd have a ball. We've got Lucy here. We've got Lucy, yeah, yeah, we could have just had, yeah, yeah, it'd be yeah. fine, it'd be fine. Yeah, field day. We have got a question about the bag. Gillian says, does the bag have an insulated pocket for keeping a bottle warm? Um, I thought it did come with a, uh, a bottle warmer, but this one hasn't got one in there at the moment, but we will double check that for you. a million pockets. Yeah, we'll check. We'll check that for you there and get back to you, Gillian. Super question. Super pockets question. inside, zip pocket inside, two pockets on the outside, smaller pocket, a bigger pocket. Lots of snacks. Lots, Lots of, of snacks. snacks. Um, again, pockets, there's eye candy on the liner. Another pocket on there. Again, I've got an umbrella in there. An umbrella? I carry an umbrella in the side of my pocket. Okay. Emily's in love with this pit, with this push chair. Yeah, it's, not, yeah, it's quite easy to mat. look. Changing mat as well. So that's all included, and it's all included in the bundle, isn't it? £899. You've got your carry cot. You've got one um, frame. So you've got your carry cot fabrics and then your seat fabrics. You've got your Duropod, which is your foot muff. You've got your changing bag. You've got your rain covers. You've got your um, elevators. elevators. You've got your car seat adapters as well, haven't you? Yeah. Did someone ask about car, car seats? Car seats. That was, gee, we swiftly moved on to car seats. So we can put a car seat on the chassis of here. We haven't brought a car seat in with us, but you can put it on in the usual way. Two car seat adapters onto your chassis of your pushchair. What about car seats? Which do... I mean, there are so many car seats on the market, but yeah. are I mean, the popular brands fit on here? Yeah, so the compatibility list is literally as long as my arm. So You've got longer arms than me. Got long arms. I, might, I, might, I might test that. <laughs> we could just write them on your arm. <laughs> you should do. Get them tattooed. <laughs> um, yeah, so Cybex, Maxi Cozy, Joy. Uh, yeah, there are absolutely loads. Even, so if even, you're not... Even other brand push chairs are compatible as yeah well, to be if honest. you're not sure you can always send us a message for whether it's the eye candy orange or whether it's any brand of push chair or car seat you can always send us a message and we can check the compatibility for you because it's really important sometimes even though they might fit on adapters they might not click into place so they wouldn't be safe and also they are tip tested just to check there's not going it's not going to affect the center of gravity of your chassis okay so do get in touch if you're not too sure about this. Somebody said, can you fit the Cybex Cloud Z on the orange? You can You can. Indeed. You can. So the Cybex Cloud Z, for those of you who don't know, is a really, really great car seat. It's a very big car seat as well, because it goes up to 87 centimetres. So one of the largest, I think it is the largest infant carrier on the market. But also once you pop it onto the chassis, if you push chair, a little handle on the back and you can lay it flat. So quite a nice feature. And it does look really nice on the eye candy chassis, especially in black. See, I put the all black one on here. 
yeah. deep black would go very, very nicely on this chassis. So somebody was just about to ask which brand of car seat it's compatible with, but we have covered this. Now, this is our price today. All you need to have done is to ask us a question, just add a comment, and we are going to draw the winner very, very shortly. But this is not all the eye candy orange can do. It's not just a single push share, is it, Ian? It's not. So, oh, by the way, there's a second prize. I keep forgetting the second forgetting prize. The second. second prize is a goodie bag, okay? It's a really good goodie bag, and I'll show you that in a moment. But if you go on and have a second child, now we are missing a hood off our demo model here, but, and we have obviously got it in a different colour because there are numerous colours that the orange is available in. I've taken the break off, move this one out of the way. But you can cater for more than one child. So I'm just going to pop this over here. So if you have bought the single push chair, along comes baby number two. How do you make this pushchair into a pushchair for two children? What do you need to do? What do you need to purchase? Um, it it kind of depends on how far apart your children are. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, we've obviously spoken about the, the ride on board, if, if there's a wider gap. But if we're still using a, 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 a child still needs to sit in and, and is using the seat unit, then what we say is that you need to buy a converter base which is another frame and a hood, mm -hmm. basically, and then you'd buy a seat unit part here. But with the converter base, you get these adapters, which you can see here. So a converter base is 125 pounds, um, but you get these adapters that, that come in, and then the seat fabric here is another 125 pounds. So for 250 quid, rather than buying a whole new push chair or anything yep. like this, the orange will then go from single mode into a double and these clip on really, really easily. They re it is very, very easy to go from single to double as well. And the other nice thing is if you are, you've got two children, take one to nursery and you're out with one child later on in the day, you don't have to take the whole thing out. It's so easy to get it back to a single, isn't it? Yeah. So again, I've just taken off one of the adapters here, but they... They're labelled front left, front right, rear right and rear left. So again, it's dead simple to know where they go. We like it when they're labelled a little bit. It helps us. But they just literally slide on so easily. Joanne says she loves, loves, loves this colour. Ah, the blue mist. Blue mist. It's, I mean, this is the one we've got in store. This is the one we chose to have in store. Um, because it's just a little bit different. Yeah, and you asked me earlier which was my favourite colour before the black one came, yep. and this was my, my favourite colour before. It was mine as well. That's why I've got it in store, because I only have the ones that I like in store. <laughs> so I've got to look at them all day. Um, can, we've got a few people asking, is there any other way of um, setting up carry cotton seat units? Yes, yeah, so actually there is uh, 30 variations with which only 30 only, only 30. 30 now that includes sort of single mode and using car seats and everything else like that but yeah there is 30 variations this is obviously probably the best way that if you've got a newborn asleep being nice well behaved and toddler who wants a bit of attention and lots of people say well i want the newborn near me and I hadn't really thought about this till I actually went through it in my head. They've, a lot of people say they want the newborn near them and the toddler further away. But actually, when you're out and about, your newborn hopefully or generally is asleep because of the rocking moment. And also, your toddler wants, wants a bit of attention. So it's a really nice time to have that toddler near to you to be able to give them that attention. So, I, you know, I quite like that. But there are different ways of doing it, aren't there? Yeah. As we are seeing now. So, and again, like you've just mentioned, the most common way people ask to have it set up is newborn closest to you, so you can tend to, you tend to newborn, them, you, you can see them there. We can cover them with the hood if we need to for various weather conditions, but then uh, toddler, as again, as we've sort of discussed, out wanting to look at the big wide so world. So I think it depends yeah. on your little one. But the nice thing about the orange is you're not stuck to one combination. That's it. No, you've exactly. Got, you've got there a few is, different options. 
Loads and loads and loads of different options. Rabia has asked, can you purchase a different colour chassis on its own, or is it all as a bundle? Um, it comes all as a, as a bundle. Obviously, if you move into um, d uh, double mode and everything, you can buy whichever colour So you can mix and match, base. You, you can mix and match. Uh, on a previous model, I had someone buy a red and a blue one. Yep. For a, a football team that they supported. Can't I'm think not, what that could be. I'm not sure which how Mum felt about that, perhaps, but the dad was... Um, dad probably didn't tell Mum. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just got a feeling, I've just got a feeling. Jasmine said she's obsessed with the all black and its gorgeous quilted detail. Yes, we're loving the, loving the detail. That's your prize. Of our black edition, which is our prize today, and a goodie bag, which we'll show you in just a moment. We have got a question. Are there any other accessories you can buy for the eye candy orange? Um, can we get a cup holder? So yes, you can buy a cup holder. Um, you'd need to buy a clamp that goes on as well, but that clamp is then also compatible with a parasol. Parasol. Do I need a parasol which in November? You can also buy no, <laughs> but again, you'll probably get ready for the push, summer. Yeah, for the summer. Um, we do a screen, which is uh, another sort of cover that comes all the way over. Um, again, protection from the sun. So it's or like a sunshade, isn't it? That just sunshade. comes all the Some way over. Some people use it if they go uh, anywhere where there's like mosquitoes yep. or a high amount of flies. And, and good things for like sleeping, that. nice darker environment for sleeping. I'm obsessed Every with children days. sleeping, can you tell? Yep. But, um, I always want our children to sleep. Does, when you buy the converter kit, do you get uh, rain, so rain covers, is it one rain cover for the carry cot and the seat unit or do we have separate rain covers? How does it work? You get a uh, separate rain cover because obviously when you're in two You're going positions, to need it. You're going to need two. Um, again, you don't obviously just have to buy a single and then buy a converter base and everything. You can buy a double straight off. Yep. You can obviously buy a twin straight off as well. You've Beat me to it there. So yes, the orange is a great push chair for twins. So there, you know, there are a lot of push chairs that you can have a carry cot and a seat unit on, but there are less push chairs that you can have two carry cots on, so that to make it suitable for twins. So I know we've got not matching colours, which kind of does my OCD. I can't cope with the fact <laughs> it's not matching colours. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. And obviously you would have a hood. We've got the hood on the seat unit at the moment, but as you can see you can use the eye candy orange for twins. And one of the nice things when you get to push this as well is because of the way that the carry cots are, your centre of gravity is nice and in the middle, so it's not particularly a heavy push chair to push. Mm. I mean, any push chair that's going to carry two toddlers is going to be, going to be a bit chunky and a bit heavy, yeah. but it is very, very nicely balanced. Okay. Yeah, maybe a little bit more gently if you've got a <laughs> newborn in there. It's a good job we've not got Lucy in there. I think Laura will be going, what's he doing? What's he doing? So there are so, so many options. You can purchase it either as a single, you can purchase it as um, a tandem, or you can purchase it as a twin. So you've got different, different options. You can also purchase it with car seats, whether you need one car seat, whether you need two car seats, because you can fit, again, for our twin parents, you can fit two car seats on as well. Yeah. One of the things we really pride ourselves on um, at Pushchair Expo is we have as many prams as possible that we are able to show you as a twin pushchair. If you are expecting twins, you don't want to imagine a second carry cot. You don't want to imagine a second seat. You want to see it set up. So that's one of the things that we have lots and lots of bits and pieces here that we can show um, a wide range of push chairs that are for twins. So we've got lots of people. I want to know what's in the bag. <laughs> Shall we show them what's in the bag? Yeah. So. Do you want me to hold it? You can. This is our second prize. Our first prize is the amazing eye candy orange black edition, which you can see here. Comes with your carry cot your seat unit, your changing bag, your duo pod and cosy toes. But we thought, do you know what? Once we've drawn this, we might draw that one first, but there's going to be someone disappointed. So I know you really like this, but you're going to love, you're going to love the bag better. The bag is better. I mean, forget the, forget, forget the 900 pound pram. <laughs> okay, the bag is better. Now we do have a confession to make, don't we? Our goodie bag is going to come directly to you from eye candy. So luckily we got nearly everything here at Pushchair Expert. We managed to get everything, didn't we? <laughs> Apart from one thing. 
<laughs> which One is thing, probably in the kitchen. <laughs> which is probably in the kitchen. So I'm going to go show you what's in the bag. It's, it's very exciting. What have we got first? We've got an eye candy bandana bib. Two yeah. settings. Younger baby. And then an older baby. So future proofing. I like it. Always See what I did there? Proofing. Future proofing. Always future so we've got our bandana bib. I'll pop it on there. Eye candy. Sought after these are. You can't buy them anywhere. Very, very sought after. You've also got your eye candy notebook. <laughs> and I'm going to have a look. I actually stole this from Dan in the office, who is um, customer services. Um, just to, um, he's not done any work, look. It's empty. <laughs> Set, oh dear, himself, set, set himself up there. Yeah, he you? has set himself up for a fall. So, really good books. In fact, I use them all the time. We've got, I'm trying to find it, a pen to go with the book. Okay, an eye candy pen. They're all really excited here. I haven't got the iPad in front of me, but I can tell people are doing thumbs up. They really <laughs> want the goodie bag. They don't want the pram. They want the goodie bag. Hearts, there. see? Hearts. Um, Melissa says, Will the bib fit my husband? <laughs> I don't know, it depends how big it is. I was going to try it on you. Is it going to fit? I don't think so. No. No, the answer to that is, Melissa, no, it's not going to fit your husband. It might fit your dog, though. And the best bit of it, bubbles. Bubbles. Should I blow them? Yeah. So, bubbles. Every, every goodie bag needs bubbles. Thought we weren't going to blow then. My cameraman's going, don't get it on my lens, don't get it on my lens. Great prize there, bubbles. Who knew? Who knew? <laughs> Hope that you will do. keep children entertained. I will keep though, the actually. children entertained. And then last but not least, I'm going to put that on the floor in case it's sticky. You don't get my car, okay? You don't get my house. But you... Or... Hang on. Find this. out where you shop as well. This. This little thing here. Anybody know what this is? Okay. This is if you go shopping, it's a little shopping trolley, what do you call it, thing? I can't think what it's called. It's the, yeah. Shopping trolley thing. Trophy, so, yeah. Yeah, so it goes in your shopping trolley so you can get it out. Really useful. I've got one on my keys, use it all the time. Don't forget your pants. And you get your tote bag as well. And your bag. And you also get a coffee cup. You know those travel coffee cups? You get one of those. Travel mug, yeah. A travel mug. So, great second prize. I am going to take my keys out of there because... I do know that somebody's going to like send them off with it. So I've just had visions well, of that we'll, happening. Yeah, we'll send a new one. Anyway, there's a whole new goodie bag going to come to our second prize win. I'm putting my keys down there, otherwise I'm going to lose them and then get to school pickup and go, oh my goodness me. So an amazing prize. Who wants to win? Christina wants to win. Anybody else wants to win? Shantice wants to win. Margaret Carr says, what a fab haul. Yes, it is. I think the first prize is slightly better, though. I'll <laughs> yeah. be honest. Should we just get rid of... Do you want to just push that one to the side? So today we have had a look at the Eye Candy Orange, and in particular the Black Edition, which is new to the Orange family. It's just beautiful. It's just stunning. It, we have got a massive Eye Candy stand at Pushchair Expert. I'm trying to think what we've got on display. We've got peach. We have got... Cerium. Cerium which is um, the special edition. Yeah, designer collection. The, of part the of the designer collection for the peach. And it's, it's really kind of, I suppose, almost the peach's black yeah. offering. Your little, but little black dress. Yeah, it's little black peach. dress, yes. I like it, little black dress. And this is the orange little black or dress. The Batmobile. The Batmobile, yeah, yeah. Yep. We've also got lime. We love lime. So lime's kind of a little bit smaller, a bit more nippy. For those people who are perhaps a bit more urban, lime works really, really yeah, well. Yeah, for sure. Um, and we've got all terrain as well. Yep. So those people who are very outdoorsy, we, um, you've got the choice of three wheels or two wheels. So again, a great choice. And again, those are the eye candy products that will go for um, siblings or twins. We've got all the bits and pieces so that we can show you it there as well. So do get in touch if you're interested in any of the eye candy range. But I think we're going to have to draw the winner. Otherwise, I'm going yeah. to have people who are standing behind their screens going, oh, be Ooh, quiet, woman. The suspense is The suspense. Me. What do you want to do first? Should we do the second prize first or the first prize? Second prize. Second first. prize. OK, so the winner of the goodie bag. So um, this can be posted anywhere in the UK. You do need to be in the UK to be entered into our competitions. Um, we go live every day round about 10 o'clock. 
We have some amazing prizes. We give away a prize every single day. And um, we've got push chairs, we've got dolls prams coming up, we've got car seats coming up, we've got bedside cribs, we've got nursing chairs, we've got all kinds of things coming up between now and Christmas. So we're gonna make Christmas for everybody. But today's prize is the awesome eye candy orange. Is it orange black edition or black edition orange? Orange black edition. Orange, but I thought so. Just check I got it right. <laughs> eye candy orange black edition worth almost £900. So it is an awesome prize. But we're going to draw the goodie bag first. So the way that we draw our winners is I'm going to scroll up and down and up and down and up and down. And you're just going to shout stop. And whoever I land on has won. So, oh, fingers and toes crossed. Who's got their fingers and toes <laughs> crossed? Somebody said we've got fingers and toes crossed. Everyone's saying good yeah. luck. Chrissy needs a drink to calm down. <laughs> not this time of day, it's not 12, is it 12 o'clock? Not quite. Not quite, wait, wait. So, for the goodie bag, just shout stop whenever stop. you want. Stop. So our winner is Natalie Brownlee. So Natalie Brownlee, I'm just gonna write on here, Natalie Brownlee, uh, winner of the goodie bag, so that we don't lose you, Natalie. Natalie, send us a message and we will get this all sorted and out on the courier as soon as possible to well you. Well done, Natalie. Well done, Natalie. So, should we do the push? The, oh. should, we, should we do this? I'd like to win this. I don't have a baby to put it in anymore, but I'd still like to win it. It'd be lovely. Right. So, um, I am scrolling up and down. Stop. Our winner is... Can we have a drum roll? Uh. Thank you. Our winner is, it's a man, Lee Bunker. So Lee, you are the winner of our eye candy orange black edition worth £899. Lee, send us a message because you have won an amazing prize today. Congratulations. Congratulations, Lee. Oops, hang on a minute. I've just got to put this on, otherwise um, I'll lose it. Winner of the orange. You can just talk amongst yourselves. One moment, one <laughs> moment. So yeah, five year warranty, overnight sleeping. Toddler board. Ride on board, falls with the seat on. Or off. Or off, yeah, it doesn't have to have the seat on. Uh, SPF Factor 50 fabrics. Duo pod. Duo pod, bag. Changing bag, pocket on the back. Two pockets on the back, yeah. Big and small. Future proof. Future proof. Another child Dose comes along, doubles. you are sorted. Unbelievable. And price. I actually think 899 is great value for money. It is well, really, yeah. really, really Even good if value you for don't money. Win it as a prize. Even if you don't win it as a prize, it's a great, yeah. great, great value for money. So, Ian, thank you very much for coming all the way to Deepest Darkest Lincolnshire to our studio <laughs> today to it's give okay. us an it's insight been... about eye candy and especially the orange. We've obviously got all the other eye candy products in store. A lovely spanking new stand as well that yeah. looks awesome. So if you do want to know anything about eye candy, do get in touch. But thank you for making the effort to come and see oh, no Always a pleasure. Never a chore. I'm sure everybody will agree with me. It's been great having I, um, Ian live with us today. It's a lot of fun. Thank you very much. So thank you. Make sure you join us tomorrow around about 10 o'clock and um, we'll have another prize for you and lots more chat and lots more information. So take care, everybody. Have an amazing Tuesday and we'll see you tomorrow on Wednesday. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.